already know what you want me to do Show out, show out, show out, show out, show out already know What's good, YouTube? That one I need to hear back again once again. It's Happy People Stay here for episode number 40 of our Pokemon Omega Ruby Wonder Lock here on the channel. In the last episode, we finally ended our anime filler arc of sorts of endless encounters. We got the last encounter that's available to us up until this point in the game because after we go through Victory Road, we want to do one final grinding montage. We want to know all the mods that are available to us to create the best team possible to take on the Elite Four. And trust me, we did get plenty of encounters. I'm actually itching and rearing and ready to get into victory road so if you guys are hyped for today's episode and of course if you're a proud member of the happy nation make sure you smash your like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated now let's get a quick team recap for those of you guys that may have skipped out on the little uh filler arc that we had but i, I want everyone to be on the same page where we're at up first we have mickey d's our hippowdon rocking the soft sand to power of that sand tomb and the earthquake rocking crunch and yawn as well then we have ewf when the horn comes thinking you know that you like that sound of we have uh, EWF, our Talon Flame, rocking Fly Flame Charge, Silk Scarf to power the Quick Attack, and Peck. I don't know when it's going to get Acrobatics or something else to replace Peck. Like, that's just ridiculous at this point. Then up next, we have Genos, our big nigga Genos, our shiny Tyrantrum, rocking that Rocky Helmet, also rocking Crunch Rock, Tomb Stealth, rocking Dragon Claw. Then we have Ale Ubari! Alibaba, our Hoopa, rocking knockoffs and headbutt, gunk shot, and drain punch. I keep forgetting. I guess in the final grinding montage, I'll go through and hard skill anything onto it that we need to. Then up next, we have China, our Machamp, level 46, rocking the quick claw because she's not too fast, but she's rocking knockoff, wake up, slam, strength, and bulk up. Then last but not least, we have Subaki, our star me, level 46, one half. Of the, Tsubaki si of the Tsubaki sisters, the Suicide Sisters, the only remaining, the only surviving half of the Suicide Sisters, that is. Uh, but she's holding the Mystic Water Power Up Surf, also rocking Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Power Gem. So, please allow myself to excuse myself. Let me double check uh, on our medication here and make sure that we are good to go. How many Hyper Potions do we have? We have 12 Hyper Potions. I hope that's enough. We can raise the attack stat. I think I will use that on. Let's use that on China. Let's use it on China. I think 12 hyper potions should be enough to get us through. Actually, how many super repels do we have? We have six. Mm, I hope that's enough. I feel like we're running just a teeny tiny tad bit low on supplies. You know what? You know what? It's better to be safe than sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm going to fly to Moss Deep really quick, like, and scoop up some repels and a few hyper potions, just a handful, just to get us through. Because even though we we, we didn't do any grinding to get to this point, we're not exactly over leveled by any means. And if we have to go through Victory Road fighting a whole bunch of mons that are at the same level we are, we might get beaten down just a teeny tiny tad bit. So let me go ahead and let me sell some of these items that we have here that we don't need, like uh, this nugget. Oh wait, how many do I have? Hello? Oh, I had two. We can get rid of this big pearl. How many big pearls we got? Nigga, shit! I, I, I clicked the button so fast, I don't even see it. There's more than one. We can get rid of that star piece as well. The star dust can go. Uh, we got a whole bunch of mega stones that we scooped up last time. We should be good. We don't need to buy any more Pokeballs for right now, at least. Uh, but, hello, hello. I was just selling. I was just selling. I would like to get some more. Hyper, actually, should we get some full restores? I'll get hyper potions for right now. We don't need full restores just yet. Uh, we have 12 in the bag. I'm gonna get 13 to make it an even 25. To make it an even 25. And what did I say I was gonna get? Oh, super repels. Let me get some super repels. We got six in the bag. Let me get 14 of these. Let me get 14 of these. Make an even 20 across the board. And then, do we have... We don't have any burn heals. We have an ice seal, awakening, antidotes. Okay. We should be good. We should be good. We should be good. We should be good. We should be good now. I just want to make sure that I have my medication right. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I just feel like with our, our squad of mediocre mods, <laughs> aside from uh, Hoopa, of course, going through this is going to be a little difficult so I just want to make sure that when it comes to medication we are taken care of and good to go now we already did get our encounter in victory road we got that in the last episode so we don't all we literally have to do is worry about getting through victory road now my other concern as of right now is that 
we're gonna need She-Hulk. Bum, bum, dum, dum, da 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 dum, 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 da 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 I don't know. My only other concern is that we're gonna need She-Hulk for Rock Smash in particular, because we have Strength already and we have Surf, of course. So I just, I just, I just hope we don't have to go back and swap someone out. I don't think you need Rock Smash. Actually, no. I think you might need Rock Smash. I don't fucking remember. I don't remember. All right, let's get through this bitch. I'm actually really excited to go through Victory. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think it's because I've only done Victory Road in Oris once. I did Victory Road in Oris. Oh shit. I did Victory Road in Oris one time, and that was way back in our original Alpha Sapphire playthrough, which was well over a year ago. So I'm just excited and ready to go. And ready to go. And ready to go. And ready to go. Okay. Sigilith is kind of scary, but I'm going to yawn it and then crunch the fuck out of it. You can bring my fat ass down to the ground. Mickey D's ain't going nowhere. I'm going to yawn your ass, put you to bed. I'm going to put you to bed, bed, bed. I'm going to put you to bed, bed, bed. I'm going to put you to bed, bed, bed. Okay, stop. Stop. And of course you get the special defense drop. Can I get a physical defense drop? Nope. No physical defense drop for me because that would just make way too much sense, right? Way too much sense. Okay, I'm gonna risk it. Stay asleep. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Stay asleep. Catch this crunch, nigga. I like how it's eye. Is that? Is that? Does Sigliff only have one eye? I was gonna say, I like how the eye on its little, the, the stick on its head, the pointer, whatever you wanna call it, closes. I always thought its eyes were on its body, but I guess not. Oh, a Rhyperior. Um, okay. I'm gonna go out to Tsubaki. I was gonna say, I could stay in and EQ it, but I'm guaranteed to live in EQ. Then again, this is a rock type, and its special defense is boosted in the sandstorm, so that kind of sort of scares me. But I'm gonna surf the fuck out of this thing anyways. I'm one level above it. That's quad effective. I always, I always doubt quad effectiveness. I don't know why. I always doubt quad effectiveness. I remember when uh, we were doing UCL Season 1. I think it was Week 1 or something like that. We had Gengar against Kristen in the Tulsa Talonflame. She had a Salamence. And I was I was worried. What would do more? Icy Wind or Shadow Ball? And I'm like, I don't know if Icy Wind will one-shot. And ever since then, I don't know why I doubt the power of quad effectiveness. Quad effectiveness literally mollywops a Pokemon. Like, I can't think of a single Mon that would live a quad effective hit. Like, I'm sure there's one out there. I mean, like, stab quad effective, not like, oh, quad effective Gengar to Salamence. I'm just talking about, I, I, don't, I don't know, I'm just rambling at this point. You guys get what I'm saying. I just underestimated the power of quad effectiveness, that's all. And we scoop up Max Repel, which is actually kind of nice. I mean, we still have a shit ton of Super Repels, but I will always take a Max Repel. Okay, so I think that's the right way we want to go. But I want to see what this item is up here. Actually, no, I think they, uh, never mind. I was gonna say I thought they um connected up here, but that's intense. This music is intense, and you know I actually like this. I was I'll point it out again afterwards, but I actually like how in sixth gen they uh made it so that whichever. Whichever, um... Whatever staircase or door is the right way to go, they put the little fire in front of it. I actually kind of like that. I don't know why, I just I just like the idea of it. Like, it's not needed, like, you don't need to know, like... It's not needed in the sense that it's so difficult to get through Victory Road that, oh my god, without these torches to guide my way, I don't know. It's just the idea of it is kind of cool, I like it. Okay, so I know we carry knockoff. I'm gonna go out to Machamp. I'm gonna go out to China on this one. Cause I can knock off. I'm gonna slap the fuck out of this thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, please don't do this to me. Why confuse Ray? 
Oh, I confused, Ray. China, I need you. China. China, right now is the one time I need you to mollywop. China, China, right now. Right now is the one time. Shadow Ball? Oh, we can eat it up. We can eat up one. I know we can eat up one. We can eat up multiples. Oh, never mind. Special defense drop. Why you get two battles, two special defense drop? And of course, we get ourselves. Come on! I just don't understand how that's fair. I just don't understand how that's fair. Um, uh, I kind of want to go out to EWF at this point. This is why I want to make sure we have medication because with these mods being the same level we are, we can get up a shadow ball. That's not. That's not gonna do nothing. Oh, that does a lot. Um, I did 35. Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna heal. I want to heal and see what it goes for next. Just because I did a lot of damage. Like, combined with the sandstorm, that's a 2 KO. Why are you spamming Shadow Ball? Please stop spamming Shadow Ball. Oh my god. I, I say, why are you spamming Shadow Ball? Like, I don't know why. I know why he's spamming Shadow Ball. Okay, if it's gonna spam shut oh, wait, 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 what am I doing? I have a Hoopa Unbound. I was sitting there thinking I can't go out to this because it'll be super effective, but Hoopa Unbound's part dark. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I was sitting there, I was so confused at first, I was like, why did that just do damage to me? Hoopa Unbound's part dark. Dark isn't immune to ghosts, it just resists it. Mm, okay, okay, knock off. We're good. We're good. Ale Uba Ring! I'm sorry. I had. I just had the most ultimate of Pokemon brain farts there for a second. My bad. My B. My B. My B. Ace Trainer Hope giving me more trouble than she needs to. God damn it. Okay. Okay. So let's bust open this uh this medical kit here again and heal up our mons. Heal up our gated goddamn Pokemon. Ale Hooper Ring coming to save the day. You know, we've had big red buttons, we've had big green buttons in the past. Uh, but you know what? Today we have a big purple button. And even though this is in the dark, you don't actually need Flash to get through here, which I kind of like. Bum, bum, ba -na 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 -na. Nun, nun, nun. It's one of those things where if you look at the screen at the right angle, you can actually see. So I'm just going to play off my DS at this point. Yeah, you shut your ass up, Pope. I don't care who you are or what you want. I'm just trying to get through here and save my daughter. We gotta pip it up. Oh, was an item that was flat out sitting on the ground. I thought I could get something from a rock up here. Okay, so I don't think... Oh, shit. Oh, well, gotta go back up and around. I was going the right way. It's so confusing because it's like there are staircases that lead you back down to this floor from different floors. But while you first venture into this floor, there's only one way to go. And, like, we just went the one way to go. We did everything we could on here right now. Expert Brin. Okay, look here, you bitch-ass Hitmontop. I don't care how bulky you might be. I swear, the whole Hitmon line is bulkier than they need to be. They really are. I'm gonna yawn and then faint. Not good. You gonna leave me with one HP? Asshole. I'm gonna yawn, because I know an EQ is not gonna kill. I know an EQ is not gonna kill, but let's see how much it does. Stop doing that! Doesn't faint hit through protect? Bro, that did so much more damage than I thought it would. This is not a bulky hit on top by any means. I could have just EQ this thing and been on about my merry way. Jesus Christ, catch this sand tomb, nigga, catch this sand tomb. I love how Powdown's legs look like accordions. I don't know why that just came to mind, but his legs look like accordions. <laughs> his legs kind of look like accordions. Okay, so we're good there. We're good there. We're good there. We're good there. A throw. See, I'm afraid of a knockoff. 
I'm gonna go out to I'm gonna go out to EWF because I was gonna say I want to go out to Subaki and Psychic Kid, but Throw I know is bulky. Expert Brent has two bulky ass fucking god damn two bulky ass fighting types. The question is, can Throw live a fly? You know what? I'm tired of this shit. Okay, Google. What is Talon Flames level up move set? And of course his defense goes up. God damn it. Does Talon Flame get anything? And Talon Flame's gotta get Brave Bird. I don't think this is gonna one shot. Definitely not. Please stop bulking up. Please stop bulking up. Please stop bulking up. Please stop bulking up. Please stop please stop bulking up. Please stop bulking up. Please stop please stop bulking up. Let me check Talon Flame here. I didn't see what it went for. Oh, we could hard scale Brave Bird back onto it. Endure? Oh, you sneaky cunt. Uh, it gets acrobatics at 44. Mm, level 44. What are we? Level 43 right now? Oh my god. I'm gonna fly again, because why not? Okay, so if we can level it up one more level, we'll get acrobatics. So finally, we'll have something decent. And Brave Bird gets to level 64, anyways. Okay. It's not bad. We we'll finally have something other than Peck and two turn fly. Jiminy Cricket. Mm, so oh my come on just give me level 44 just give me level 44 just give me just give me level 40 fucking 4 please and thank you all right so we back up into the real world now welcome to the world he said i made it this far a couple of times but the last stretch is so long we're not even to the last stretch yet buddy ace trainer edgar edgar and what's even crazier is that there's only been one mon or one trainer, one mod, one trainer that we could have dodged up to this point. And I'm sorry, Mawile, but you are about to get absolutely blown back, destroyed, eliminated. So I'm gonna need you to catch this EQ. Oh, you stockpile all you want, homegirl. You can stockpile all you want, homegirl. You ain't living this motherfucking Sean Stan Stab Super Effective EQ, bitch. Get him out, ho. Oh, shit, he lived. Ah! How did he live? Are you, you gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shit after all that shit talking I did. Oh, never mind, you gone, ho. You gone. You gone. You ain't stockpiled enough. And you are you kidding me? Are you are you being serious? I swear on everything, if it flinches me right now, I was about to lose my fucking mind. If this shit happened. I was about to lose I would have been out my gourd if that would have happened. God damn. One stockpile raises to I mean I guess steel type Pokemon are naturally defensive, but still. I was not expecting that, to say the least. Alright, there you go, Mickey D's. I'm making sure my mods are nice and healed up 100% before we continue on. I'm checking every rock just to be sure. No, but what I was saying was there was only one trainer that we could have skipped up until this point. So I think that's the correct way. So I'm gonna go down here and explore it, ties real quick, like. Bim, 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 ba da 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 da. We got a max elixir, which honestly isn't too terrible to have, uh, because it helps out with the elite four a lot. You know, when you're actually in the elite four and you can't heal if you run out of moves, which I feel like as long as we don't over level, that may actually just happen. So I'm actually not even mad about that. So excuse me, knock knock. I would like to battle you. What is this music? is that god damn that's the second time that that initial encounter music has been i'm gonna have to look at it it was diver and street thug i'm gonna jot that down diver and street thug because i remember when like, like the second episode of encounters i encountered diver that was north of doofer town and his theme was like some craziness i was like wait what i just want everything if you burn me I was about to lose my goddamn mind. Yeah, get out of here, hound doom. Hound doom. Bruh, the EXP is so nice. Shift tree, wait, wait, wait. Is this finally gonna happen? Are we finally gonna get acrobatics? 
Bruh. Bruh. I will gladly accept this honor. I will gladly accept this honor. Don't you sucker punch me. If you sucker punch... God damn it, he used Hurricane. I forgot he can get Hurricane. If he uses Sucker Punch now, would it hit? I don't think it would hit. Get blown back. My god, Shift Tree. Level 44. Ah, finally! Oh my god. We've had Peck for the longest goddamn time. So unfortunately, now we gotta take the Silk Scarf off of EWF because Acrobatics doubles in power if you have no held item, which I think makes it base 110. I think. So I think it's base 55. So let me snatch that from you. And let me double check here. Yeah, it makes it base 110, which is kinda nice, not gonna lie. Which is kinda nice, not gonna lie. Because that makes it stronger than Fly. So we can just click acrobatics, not waste two turns, and just keep it right on fucking moving, goddammit. We're an invincible combination will be burned into your memory. Huh, you're a cute trainer. I wonder how long you can hold out against my attack. If these cool trainer fucking cool pants niggas, listen, I am your OG and you will respect me as such. <laughs> Okay, 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 so bad play number one. The sand stream is now up. So that means they both have boosted special defense. And they're a rock type, so we need to swap out. I'm gonna go out to you. And I'm going to go out to Honestly I think Genos is the best bet. Unless it's Armado EQs, which I don't think Armado gets EQ by level up. And it's neutral to a grass attack, so. I think that might be it. I would go out to Alibaba or Subaki, but there's a grass type right there for Subaki and a bug type right there for Alibaba. So I think Genos might be the best option here. What's poppin' hoes? Big nigga Genos in the motherfucking building! Alright, just go for stockpile. That's all I need you to do, just go for stockpile. Energy ball. Oh, Ooh, it's a good thing we swapped. Oh, I'm eating that up. Oh, girl, that's a booty hole. That Rocky helmet damage, though. How'd that make you feel? How'd that make you feel? That energy ball did a lot, though. Uh, I'm gonna go for a bulk up. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go for a wake up slap on the crate dilly. And I think, honestly, I think I want to double team. No, I'm gonna rock tomb. Never mind. I'm gonna say because the rock and the quick claw wake up slap smack the fuck out this hoe mm, That damage though the Rock tomb. I don't think rock resists itself. No, it doesn't rock does not resist itself. So we're good And you got that speed lowered gastro acid doesn't that suppress your ability? So Well if no guard was suppressed then how come you landed your fucking slash that's not cool Asshole. Okay, I'm going to rock tomb and do away with you. Run away with me tonight. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. And you can get your little gastro aciding energy ball loving amigo out of here too, hombre. Oh, finally a move. I'm kind of nervous about cross shop though, because it's only 5. 80 accuracy. I kind of want to get rid of strength. Knock off, I kind of want to keep. Do we get rid of wake up slap for cross shop? Wake up slap does a lot of damage though. Mm, if only I could get rid of strength! Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Wake up slap is 100%. I'm not gonna teach him cross chop right now. I want I want to learn cross chop, 
I'll have to go rock smash and get a couple heart scales, but I can't. If, if I could give up strength right now, then I would. But I just feel like, in the sense of where we're at in the game right now, it's smarter to have more PP on a move. Because, I mean, cross shot, I mean, uh, Wiggle Slap has twice as much PP as cross shot does. And it, that's already not enough PP to be really begin with. So the only stab move for us to have would be... Would be having 5 PP and 80% accuracy, like... I don't mind having cross shot, I actually wouldn't, I would love to use it, but it's just I can't. In all good, in all good sense, I can't go for that. Alright, I'm gonna Dragon Claw you to another Oblivion. <laughs> Give it all you got, that critical hit! My big nigga Geno's coming through! Bruh. Bruh. Level 40 fucking 5, too. Come on. Jude and Rory. Get to stepping, hoes. Get to stepping. Okay, I think right now, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up everybody. I'm gonna use these hyper potions because like this is why this is why I bought them. I don't care if it's five PP or not. This is why I bought them. And I think right now we're gonna go ahead and pause in our Victory Road expedition right here and wrap up today's episode. We're about halfway through. We haven't lost any members yet. Knock on wood. And we will continue in the next episode uh, all the way to the Pokemon League. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode of our Omega Wonderlock, and of course if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm going to get about. Thank y'all once again for your support and thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube, I'm out this bitch. Bye!